there's a huge talent shortage in this country. I mean, we're short skilled, trained people. And this is across all industries, the legal profession, the accounting profession, engineering, logistics, healthcare. Oh, when you look at healthcare, it's one sixth of our economy. hospital. How many have been to a hospital? Anybody? Yeah. <laughs> it's not just a bunch of doctors and nurses. You got management, you got CEO, CFO, COO, you got VPs, you got directors, you've got an accounting department, a legal department, you got a technology department, you got software people, technology people, communications, you got everybody. And for the last 15 years in a row, the top two challenges of healthcare CEOs has been rising costs, no big surprise there, and talent recruitment and retention. But if you go to a rural area, those numbers are reversed. And the number one problem for the last 15 years in a row has been talent recruitment and retention. Then comes rising costs. I just uh, heard a talk from, from David, who was speaking on the, the problem of retention and, and keeping employees, essentially, and he has a great, great idea of, of attracting and keeping. I thought it was a great, great topic, something that we as company leaders and business owners should really, really be thinking about. I very much enjoyed David's talk, and it validated a lot of what my life experience had shown me regarding careers and corporate America and uh, it's setting off alarm bells. Ten thousand people a day turn age 65. And this is an active group that's living longer and developing chronic illness, which is contributing to the healthcare shortage. And they want their doctors to keep them going. For example, my dad, he was 92 years old when he passed away. And by that time, talk about Keep him going. He had both knees replaced. He had a pacemaker, bypass surgery, two hearing aids, and he never slowed down for a second. He was part of an honor guard that performed full military honors at the funerals of any vet in his county. I remember it like it was yesterday. He comes walking in, shaking his head. He goes, don't ask. I'm like, oh man, my heart sank. You know sometimes when you're right and you wish you weren't? Then he looks at me, he goes, I just got in about six. Don't tell your sister. He was up all night. I just heard David talk. Fantastic speaker. Really enjoyed all that he had to say. Learned a ton about how to solve this country's retention and employment problem. David did a great job. It's a really entertaining uh, presentation, and uh, I learned something too. I just heard David uh, even talk about the uh, uh, recruitment process and the talent hiring, and it was amazing. It uh, motivated everybody. Uh, he was very, very um, uh, interesting to watch and listen, and I would definitely recommend uh, David for any other talks. So, a company's got a big position open, something important. They need somebody at the VP level, or they need an engineer. Somebody who doesn't need to be held by the hand and told what to do. Not some wet behind the ears kid straight out of college, no experience. They need a professional. Somebody who's been doing it. Mid they're mid-career. They've been doing it for the last 20 years. So along comes a professional, age 45. Lots of years left. This professional has got a kid, age 17, looking at colleges. The alarm's going off in his head. Do you have any idea how many tens of millions of people there are in this country, age 40 to 55? The alarm's going off in the head, they're going, what am I gonna do? You think maybe they might be interested in a company that could solve that problem? Oh yeah, they'll come, they'll stay, they'll be happy, they'll be grateful. For those who continue the short-term thinking of the past, the problem of talent recruitment and retention will only get worse. The cost of employee turnover will only go higher and for some companies, they'll simply fold. For those 
who learn to think long term and focus on the American dream that's in the hearts of so many millions of Americans. The top talent in any industry will be standing in line to work for that organization. Thank you so much.